was locked. Static supplementary. Today we're going to be beaming down to the planet Epsilon, where the Intergalactic Museum of World Artifacts is stored. Here we can find George Orwell, preserved for all eternity, he was reconstructed from his DNA. We're going to visit the Museum of Orwell, where he's going to show us how to make perfect British cup of tea. Energize Scotty. James, nice to see you once again. I say, did you bring me any snout? There's not a bit of tobacco to be had here for love or money. George, you know tobacco was outlawed by the Federation 500 years ago. Maybe as I was quite forgetting it was outlawed by the Federation. So today I'm going to show you how to make a British cup of tea. So the first thing we need is a derby teapot. And to go with it, we need a very strong salon mixture of tea. I'm using Assam salon mi mixture, which gives us a very strong black tea, not like these Nancy Boy herbal teas that people like to drink nowadays. Well, there's a few little tricks to learn about making a cup of tea. First thing is to warm the pot beforehand. This pot has been warmed beforehand. I'll just empty it out. That's the trouble with being a, an alpha double place. One so tall one bangs one's head all the time in the lamps. Okay, James, to make the British cup of tea, one spoonful for the pot and one for each cup. Make sure the water is boiling. 100 degrees the tea has to be to achieve perfect brewing capacity. You see the water? Now we must wait five minutes for the tea to brew. So now five minutes have elapsed and the tea should be ready. This is a special tea. I'm afraid it's only for the inner party members. Uh, there's been a lot of fighting on the Malabar front at the moment, so there's lots of tea around. So first of all, we take a non-Nancy large mug don't want to use some Nancy cup. And then we take some fresh cow's milk. Oh my God, there's a black beetle in my milk. James, there's a black beetle in the milk. I have to throw it away. Here, we take the uh, 
tea and pour it There you have it, the perfect British cup of tea. You sure you haven't got any tobacco, James? Kill for a snout. Black shack. You're going to turn me off in a few minutes. Well, come again any time you do, uh, James. And you know, a sailor always knows where to get the special stuff. So, thank you very much for visiting the museum of George Orwell, reconstructed from the DNA from a razor blade that I left behind, a blunt razor blade, that I lent beh left behind in the Jura Mountains. Ah, great British tea. Thank you, George Orwell. Showing us how to make the great British cup of tea. Kick the wing press. Kick the wing press. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs>